Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Bull. In this video we are again going to review absolutely new NFT metaverse project which I found interesting guys and today we will be talking about mine barons. This project is very interesting, it is unique, it is different from all other projects which I have been reviewing here on Crypto Bull channel. So as guys, there is a lot of information to cover, however, I will try to give you the main idea behind this project, what this project is about, what this NFT game will be about, however, there will be not only NFTs, like with all other different crypto metaverse projects where they are having only NFTs, but here will be also resources which users will be able to buy in form of tokens and to start off guys as you can see mine barons next generation play to earn nft game craft rule and earn i found the concept very very interesting and that's why i decided to review it guys protect your lands capture others build manage play and earn so pretty much this is where you can get a land and you can protect or you can become a baron guys and you can start earning by attacking all other lands or for example if you are a weak if you are a weak player you can join under some baron you can play pay him taxes and you can also make profits by playing this game so the concept is huge they have white paper there there is also a legend if we click into this one you can read the legend and for those who are new to nfts to metaverse projects so legend is pretty much the story which stand behind that particular NFT metaverse project. I will not be getting into reading as obviously I will not have the time to discuss all aspects about the game but pretty much if you are interested as always guys all links will be in description of this video. Go in and check any projects which I am reviewing here on Crypto Bull channel out for yourself, read information and if you are interested to follow this or that project guys join their social media like Discord or for example Telegram channels where you can ask more questions and where you can communicate with the community which is involved in that particular project but this is also in my view guys high quality as you can see it has a very high quality drawings the demo is coming soon so they are just starting this is absolutely new project and as you know guys it is always the best time to invest in these projects or to start with these projects when they are absolutely new and i have been reading also white paper i have been going through roadmap of this project myself behind the scenes and one of the main aspects of this game is that the stuff the faster you start playing the faster you acquire your land the faster you become a baron guys the faster you start building your power and then the more powerful you are getting guys the more you can actually get other barons under you or other players under you which are paying tax to you because they are getting your protection in the game so very interesting concept at least in my view guys so let's do a quick overview of their website and then let's go through roadmap and through white paper and let's have a look at main aspects of the game so build fields and farms to feed armies all resources that are needed for construction maintenance and war are produced by the players and can be sold for real money farms and fields provide food for all activities in the game uh, there will be like i mentioned uh, nfts and there will be also resources which we will get to when we will have a look at white paper and the farmer will never be out of work by the way guys they already have nfts which i will also show you at the end of the video mine iron and stone to build castle and powerful weapons pay attention guys why i decided to also review this project is because of graphics as you can see the graphics are very very high quality and this is made very high quality at least it is in my view guys however none of my videos are financial advice this is just the projects which i'm reviewing which I find interesting and where I think that people how or developers of that or NFT and metaverse project have actually involved work they have professional graphic designers as for this game for example rise animals on farms to provide armies with horses and food guys and there is much more here you can preview some NFTs collect NFT cards craft and sell them so you can collect cards you can sell them you can buy them and win battles and capture for 
fortresses and there is much more information and by the way guys one of the things that this project was started to build on wax however if we go now to their white paper and here on their white paper you will see that this project has been started on wax the game based on polygon blockchain it is now built on polygon blockchain because they couldn't build it on wax and they decided to go with polygon obviously polygon is layer 2 solution for ethereum guys it is much better and much higher quality and transaction fees are very very small on polygon however as you can see here guys the game was originally planned for wax but numerous failures and bugs of this blockchain led us to choose more stable and inexpensive network with a developed infrastructure and large community polygon that's why they decided to build it on polygon and here on their white paper if you go to their website here at the top second is white paper if you go into it there is a lot of information i will not be able to cover everything because this is huge guys but in general here are game resources which i was talking about which will come in gold as you see this will be mbg wood or ticker for wood will be mbw stone will be mws iron will be mbi food will be mbf and horse and horse resource will be or these tokens will be mbh and can be bought on exchanges and deposited to the game so pretty much all these resources which i was just mentioning guys you are able to buy as tokens and you will be able to integrate them into the game and this is one of of those aspects which i find interesting because this will give a huge use case for all these tokens and all these resources will be pretty much different tokens which you will be able to use in this game and as many people are as more people will start using these resources will start playing this game will start buying these tokens of these resources the price of these tokens will be obviously growing and here is the concept of the barony the general element of the game is the factor of limited number of lands that any player can own and manage generating income and attack other players and other lands so you are able to get land you are able to build on your land and you are able to attack other players and if you win if you are stronger than those other players you can make profits guys and the game is built in realistic economy and military mechanics in order to protect themselves ordinary players either need to become the owner of the land so if you are a player you become the owner of the land and the land is nft the baron you are becoming a baron if you owe the land and protect it by forces so you need to get an army this is what we reviewed here on their website there are all these also different aspects however it is all described in great detail on their white paper so you get the army and you protect your land and you are getting stronger or go to the lands of one of the barons under his protection action paying him taxes guys or if you are a weak player you can go to some baron's land or a person who already loves nft of land and you can pay him taxes guys and you will get that baron's protection and there is much much more guys i obviously i will not be able to cover everything in this one video but i hope that you are getting the idea of this game and that's why i find it interesting because they have really sought out well sought out or there is a good idea behind this game that's why i like this project but now let's talk about the different types of nfts which they will have as you see the game has several nft times so there will be land nft type cannot be crafted obtained from the packs only and there is description of it i will not be getting into it and there is the mining nft can be crafted or obtained from the packs and there are more nfts like troops nft can be crafted or obtained from the packs guys and there is more nfts like amulet nft can be crafted or obtained from the packs guys and there is much much more information which i obviously will not be coming which i obviously will not be able to read but if you are interested like i mentioned guys come in into this project and here at the top you can find all these tabs where you can read all these information like frequently asked questions and we can go to the roadmap and have a look at the roadmap of this project as you see in august 2021 it was started introduced pvp concept into a farming game game model design and market research elaborate pvp balance and game economy and in november and until December they already search for investors to launch the project, select developers and design teams, improve project's market model and they created the white paper and in January 22 
till March 2022. This is pretty much now. Game interface design, develop and launch website, draw game art, create social media and launch promo quest guys. And there is much more information which you obviously can come in and read out in their white paper for yourself. But for another thing is guys that you already can buy in Baron Mint Pass as you can see here if you go to OpenSea. And Obviously, you all already know that OpenSea is the biggest market for NFTs, and currently the price for these NFTs are very, very small. As you see, Mine Barons powered ORB 0.003 Ethereum, where Mine Barons Queen pass you can get for 0.01 ethereum and these other nfts so yes guys in general i find this project rather interesting i find that this could have a potential because the graphics in my view in my opinion at least they are very well designed you can see that this is built by like real graphic designer so yes guys this was my short review on my barons hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you're new and see you in the next one